okay then uh, so today what we are going to cover is mos transistors okay so this is a mosfet what do different parts of this region represent can anyone tell me likha hua hai wahan pe lekin i still want to hear it from you so source and drain and channel and gate and mm -hmm. substrate is there right good so we understand that one of this is source this we call as drain this is the gate region which we say is made of polysilicon this you can call as gate oxide this blackened region is channel where we say that the inversion layer already exists the channel is already been formed and this is isolation so this is also silicon dioxide okay So, so that isolation sir? is uh, because of field oxide right yes that isolation is field oxide yes sir yes there was a question another question no sir i was asking the same <laughs> isolation from yeah so it it was field oxide and uh, it is called isolation these days because it is no longer grown in the way the field oxide was grown it is today uh, you know there is a trench that is uh, that is etched out in the silicon and then you deposit oxide so it is called shallow trench implant but yes that is oxide that that separates two adjacent transistors source and drain regions from each other okay so given that so what we just now showed was that there is uh, uh, same voltage at source and drain if we apply a different voltage at source and drain what happens the starch starts to move and you also experience what is called as pinch off you see the channel has become tapered uh oh, oh my ppt has stopped operating again okay let me pause the recording one you should not feel sorry for asking to restart the recording yeah so when we apply a, a differential voltage between the source and the drain then what happens current starts to flow and we see that this channel is no longer flat we see that this channel starts to taper and we see a pinch off happening here okay so you remember all of this 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 you must have all done in your uh, earlier course on yes, electron sir. yes sir great so pinch off happens and what does pinch off do pinch off says that oh now since uh, pinch off has happened uh, the change in current that would flow would be less so in fact we call it as saturation that they will after this even if you increase vds any further there will be no change in current ids at the same gate source voltage okay and uh, these are the equations that uh, we remember from earlier sessions earlier classes on uh, mosfet behavior all of you remember these so ratta nahi marna i don't need to memorize them but you remember that these equations were there in the linear region current would would vary like this uh, so as you increase the w uh, the current would increase if you increase the length the current would reduce mobility being higher for the nmoses nmoses have larger current than pmoses so all these concepts you remember am i right for saturation we are dependent on vgs minus vt the whole square and uh, in an ideal mosfet uh uh there is there is very limited change in in current after saturation has set in and which is due to channel length modulation hmm clear yahan tak aapko yaad hai sara meher you have a question 
uh yeah sir it's like kind of basic but i have always wondered how we arrived at the first equation for the linear region so this whole thing that okay you uh you take the v overdrive and then subtract i mean and you subtract vds by 2 from that mm-hmm. i mean uh how do we get that exactly so again uh meher these are models we observed silicon okay. we observed the behavior of the <laughs> on silicon and we modeled it and we found that this is the correct model okay then we justified it okay this is happening because of this 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 physical phenomena happening there but you will realize it is all models you see the current and you will model it and then you will look for ways to justify it in fact so many phenomena that you will see in advanced technologies they were discovered because the model changed okay 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 so it's purely experimental yeah it starts with experimental then you justify it with physics okay so isme gate over drive ka reason gate over drive pe dependence kyun hai that you understand yes sir okay. vds pe dependence kyun hai that also you understand yeah yeah so that is what is most important to capture okay this is a square dependence cubic dependence uh, three times you know uh, quad, quad, which kind of dependence it is that that is largely curve fitting happening there okay okay intuitively you need to understand okay this is this is dependent on vgs minus vt now square linear all those things you also need to understand but they are all models based on what we studied in the experiments what we found in the experiments okay right. for example in the linear region you would say that my mosfet characteristics are like this okay so as vgs changes in this region my uh, resistance changes uh, linearly yeah. whereas uh, in the saturation region uh, the current value that i will get will depend on something so yahan pe ab dusra curve picture mein aa jata hai igs my igs or vds wala curve picture mein aa jata hai that over here the thing is quadratic in nature mm-hmm. so these are all models that have been made based on what we observed on silicon and that has been then justified physically much more of it you will get in uh, uh, ssd course okay sir. okay sure. but we remember these two curves and we remember these uh, equations divya you have a question yes sir so can we say that uh, charges are also get saturated due to uh, saturation of current at pins of point i'm sorry uh, charges can also be uh, saturated at uh, due to saturation of current at pins of point charges can be saturated charges kahan pe aaya bhi uh, sir pins of point ki agar v, uh, vds increase hua uh, to idf uh, saturation current bhi increase ho gaya इलेक्ट्रॉन भी होंगे और आयन भी होंगे डिप्लीशन रीजन तो है ही ना सो ओके दिस इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग सो टेल मी वन थिंग वेन वी से दैट वेन वी से दैट दिस इज दिस इज दिस ट्राइंगल देयर सो वॉट इज दिस ट्राइंगल इज इट लाइक वॉट इज द डेप्थ ऑफ दिस इन्वर्जन लेयर मेड दिस ट्राइंगल ओवर हेयर ना so what is what does the triangle represent what is the depth of inversion layer wd huh uh, i don't know sir rashnas yes sir uh, actually the triangle over there no it basically depends on the vds equal to vgs minus vth uh, type sir I, i'm like at every point over there uh, the, where, where the pinch off happens uh, from there uh, I'm like uh, VDS equal to VGS minus VTS. Then the pinch off starts to happen as as its centering point of uh, saturation. Hmm. So if we consider each point in that uh, channel, 
uh, then the voltage gets decreased. I mean, like uh, VDS yeah. voltage gets decreased. That's the reason yeah. why we, we get to a triangle over there. Okay. So what is the depth of the inversion layer? Depth of the inversion layer. I, I'm, I'm like initially the inversion, inversion layer, which was formed before the saturation. Uh, I think that's the same, same length over uh, near the source, if I'm not wrong. And uh, this one, sir, I think we have to integrate it, if I'm not wrong. Uh, or something, uh, depending on the condition, sir. Uh, it was mentioned as such in the Razavi book, sir. That's it. Uh, I mean. Okay. Razavi. Who sir, other? Who else? Gagandhi? Sir, sir, this is a concentration. Yes, right. This just a concentration. So the width is almost zero. So just representation is the concentration of charges in the channel. Hmm. So inversion layer is only at the surface. This triangle that we represent is the charge density in the inversion layer. Do not consider this as a physical depth. Inversion layer is always, always, always at the surface. Remember the band bending? Hum kya kya rahe the? Band bending at the surface. This is where, you know, EI. So here band bending ho apada, this is the place where your inversion layer exists. It has no depth. The depth that is shown here, that appears to be depth, that is just the graph of charge density of electrons. And what is the probability of finding electrons in this region? So you see that pinch off happens, matlab. now electrons have got so much energy, they don't stop. You cannot find them. They just rushed into the drain region. You can't even locate them in this region. It's not fast from move. Kar and therefore, when you increase the voltage, what happens? Only more electrons move faster and faster and faster. So pinch off becomes steeper and steeper. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Sir. Yes. Sir, I couldn't get the like there's no depth uh, so i i mean inversion layer needs to have will have some like it will have some no, it is depth. at the surface there's the surface all the electrons are on the surface all the transistor behavior that you're looking at is at the surface at the surface of silicon at the interface of oxide and silicon no depth a nanometer of depth that's it not okay, like that, that. you don't you don't call it depth because it's not depth it's there at the surface okay okay so only like it's like a sheet of like electrons kind yes of it's a sheet of electrons there that's the inversion layer okay okay sir yes Vaishnav. so uh what did i'm mean, like what do you mean by the charge density exactly sir i mean like uh, there are no charges below the inversion layer or uh, is it something different so what do you understand by the term electron density? Uh, electron is, I'm like charge per unit area if I'm not wrong. Yeah. So that, that is the kind of electrons you will have at the surface. Is in that, that sheet that we talked about, there are so many electrons that you could locate in that sheet. But after the pinch-off happens, after the pinch-off happens, what happens? Now electrons have just moved out into the drain region. Yes, sir. I, I mean, I do understand that. Uh, uh, but my doubt was that... Uh, Literally, there are the electrons over here, right? They are, they are electrons creating this triangle kind of thing. Uh, no, there is no depth of this triangle. This is charge density. That is what I'm trying to clarify. Okay, okay, okay. So, no, I understand. There is Sorry. no physical triangle there. That is what I want to clarify. Okay, okay. Thank you, sir. Understood. Okay. Uh, sir, just to clarify this concept, I mean, so as we are increasing um, the drain voltage, I mean, beyond the saturation region, then it's uh, the depletion layer between the drain and the uh, and the substrate is just increasing, and that's why we don't, you know, it it sort of remains. So depletion region was always there, Meher. The entire region yeah. is depletion region. Yeah, but it starts increasing, right? No, depletion region once it reaches WD max and inversion layer has formed, depletion region will not increase. Sir, so, but um, then you have channel with modulation. No? I mean, that's yeah. why it's dependent on VDS because 
your effective uh, train to source um, length is decreasing your channel length is decreasing okay so that that is when you say that okay now this region also became depletion or this region also became depletion so the depletion region beneath this d would increase this is not transistor action now this is parasitic you may say okay i'm not so sure sir how this is working now i mean so from... when you apply some voltage so this is n plus and this is p yeah See, abhi tak jo hum mass capacitor dekh rahe the, we were looking at only this part. Even this was not there. Is that clear? Yeah. Are you with me till here? Yeah. Now we've added source and drain regions. Mm -hmm. So what happened? There was a depletion region over here, which was found because of the gate. Okay. But now, okay. because of this N plus and P region and this N plus and P region, there is a depletion layer that is formed on this region also. All right. Okay. So now, when you increase V D, what happens? This depletion region increases. Yeah. Okay. So what happens? You see it as channel length modulation. Okay. okay. It is not this W D max. The gate control W D max cannot change. Okay. 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 Yeah. so is this concept clear that uh, inversion layer is just on the surface of silicon and that it's it's just a sheet of electrons and what we represent as a triangle over here is electron density at given x hmm? so, so sir can i say that on the sheet of sheet of uh, electrons the the distribution of electrons is not homogeneous it's like different that's why we are getting this uh, kind yes. of triangle Okay. Yes. Yes. Because electrons, as they come close to the drain, they just rush out. So you, there is no sheet there. You can't see them. It doesn't. They don't appear like a sheet. That's the what. Yeah. That's what the model says. Again, this is modeling. Up electrons, they can't see them. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. This is modeling. But even then, what is important to realize is all this is happening at the surface. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. Sir, yeah. Uh, sir, after pinch off, there will be no sheet, right? Uh, at the drain end, uh, there will be sheet will be cut, right? Like, so there are electrons there, but they are moving so fast that they don't appear as sheet now. They just oh, get absorbed are, into the drain. They are going very fast through the depletion layer, or uh, there will be at the surface. at the surface also there will be depletion uh, depletion layer will be there yeah yeah oh yes thanks depletion region kaha jata hai layer nahi kaha jata but yeah that is the depletion all that part is depletion yes ah uh, yes hai na okay so this is 